So, let's see uh, our next demo. Guys, take it away. So, imagine that you're in the grocery store and you recently decided that you want to start eating a healthier diet. And you're going through the ingredients list on the back of the package and you feel like it's written in another language. And out of time, you have a busy life, you throw the cherry pop tarts into the cart because you can't deal with this, you've got to get home. But little did you know, in doing that, you just brought into your home a food that contains yellow six, a known carcinogen that is banned in Finland and Norway. But sadly, in the US, the FDA has fallen short of causing us to not put these ingredients in our food. But what if there is a way that you could test these kinds of things on your own in an easier, in an easy way? Well, this weekend that became possible. With our app, Healthy, we've created an augmented reality platform that gives you a score based on a food that you're looking at in real time. And now imagine that you're back at the grocery store with your iPhone charged with your new app, and you come across a chip aisle and you want to see what Doritos will do to you. So you scan your Doritos, and there you go, you have a list of negatives, uh, positives, and a score, and you say, I don't want to put a 30 second up 100, you put it back on the shelf and you don't make that same mistake. But maybe that's not enough. Maybe you want to also be able to choose the right foods in restaurant scenarios. So you're an angel hack and you know that you just got nice uh, bagels and pastries from Pandora and you tap that in, whatever, and now you want to see what you're looking at um, as far as your, your food from the Pandora menu. So, you're making a decision for breakfast, and you see the cinnamon rolls are 44. So I'm not gonna eat a 44, a little bit more self-respect. Let's check out the everything bagel, which is a 72. So based on these things, you can see the power of being able to make a decision in real time based on your desires for your health. And not only that, but if you're a Fitbit user, you can track the foods that you purchase at the grocery store in a seamless fashion. And so you can see here that I've got scans of I've got my everything bagels, and I've got my cinnamon rolls, and in doing this, you can track the kinds of foods you're eating and make a more realistic algorithm based on how much exercise you're eating each week. Awesome, round of applause for Tim Happy. Judges, do you hear that? That's a good question. So, we right now have trained four foods in the 36 hours that we had, but we've created a database with these four foods that is infinitely scalable. It's a, it's, it's a Firebase based on a, a JSON document that can be updated with as many ingredients as we want to, and we plan to implement a crowdsourcing where people in restaurants can send a picture and say, this, is, this has this name, and we can look up ingredients and, and scale the database up and down as much as we need to. So I noticed all the foods that you were showing were all carcinogenic. Um, is there any way to not terrify me by what? <laughs> yes, um, but actually it's very hard. You'll have to, yeah. You, if you eat organic vegetables, I think you'll be okay. But no, really, and honestly, I think um, I think that the foods that we chose are probably on the bad side of the scale. But a lot of things are carcinogenic, and that's that's true. I mean, we have any anytime you have a food coloring, it's just. It's a real problem, and honestly, maybe people should be terrified with the kinds of problems that we've had um, cropping up with increase the cancer rates. So maybe that's maybe that's a good thing. Awesome, thank you, team. I like all the scenarios. Remember, it's seamless. 